Example 2 from the Grade 1 book on page 26. The chords are different this time. It's not A minor or E minor, it's D, A dominant 7 and G. Now, this is why it's so important that we know all 12 of our chords from the exam book on pages 8 and 9, I believe. We need to know all 12 of those chords, including the extra sheet I gave you to cover the, the, the uh, chords from the preliminary grade. Um, so here we have D, A7, G and A7. Now it's very possible in the exam that you might forget how to play A7 or D7 or E7. And in that case, I would suggest to you it's okay to drop the number. So you get away with playing A instead of A7 or D instead of D7. Much better than being completely flummoxed and getting lost. So here's the tune for example two uh, on page 26. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's uh, the tune. Uh, I'm going to try and play the, the, the chords this time. Um, so it goes D, D, A7, A7, G, G, A7, A7. So like this. D, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, A, two, three, four. Now I can breathe a slight sigh of relief because it's sort of, that sounded okay. Um, and then the examiner's going to say, well, play along with me. And you go, okay. And after four, then we go. We play those chords, counting away as we play. It's so important to count. If you count, honestly, it just makes uh, the whole thing so much easier. Here we go. So, if we follow those chords, if we count, uh, we should do pretty well at the accompaniments.